water, earth, fire, air. Not that long ago, the island was in complete chaos. Then, everything changed when the mythological beings attacked. Over the course of roughly a week, the Avatar was found encased in an iceberg, until Katara broke him out, because apparently Sokka was not invited. Hey, what's up everyone? Hello and welcome back to Two Nerds on a Couch. I'm Beth. And I'm Thor. The Avatar Elements event is here, plus there's some other news in the world of Fortnite. Let's check it out! The eagerly awaited Avatar Elements event is here, and there's all kinds of stuff to do. There's a free reward track and a premium reward track. Let's check them out! Some of the rewards are usable in the other game modes, like the guitars that can be equipped especially for Fortnite Festival and shown off in places that allow you to play jam tracks. The My Cabbages emote has a Fortnite style and a cute Lego style as well. In the free track, you can earn four levels. Gaining enough chi will grant you Sokka's space sword as the final reward in the free track. Completing the quest will grant you a chakra piece. Collect six pieces before the event is over and you will have earned everyone's favorite flying bison, Appa! If you purchase the premium reward track, you automatically get Aang, an acute Lego version of Aang for the Lego Fortnite game and the various creative islands that support Lego minifigs as your character. As you earn Chi, it will unlock the rewards for both tracks at the same time, as long as you purchase the event pass. Another awesome emote is Aang's Air Sphere, which is traversal and has its own cute Lego style for Lego Fortnite and Lego Creative Islands. And finally, you can earn Avatar State Aang for both Lego Fortnite and Battle Royale styles by getting enough Chi. Don't feel like waiting to collect all that Chi? Well, you can actually purchase all of the rewards off the bat, no need to wait. It'll cost you about 1600 V-Bucks, however, but you'll need to finish the quest anyways in order to get Appa. If you do decide to purchase the premium event pass, please consider popping code two nerds on a couch into the item shop before you make that purchase. It helps us out a lot, so thank you so much! Equally as impressive as Olympian powers is mastery over water, earth, fire, and air. The Elements event is going on now and brings new bending techniques from around the world of Avatar The Last Airbender to Fortnite. Elements runs until May 3rd, 2024 at 2 a.m. Eastern. While the event is going on, the Olympian powers are partially vaulted. What do we mean by this? Well, the Chains of Hades, Zeus's Lightning, and the Wings of Icarus are all vaulted from Battle Royale modes except for Creative Islands and Tournament Playlists. Tournament Playlists include FNCS Qualifiers, Cash Cups, Mix It Up Monday, and other tournaments that are run directly by Epic Games. Since these items are vaulted in regular modes, Epic went ahead and changed a couple of the quests in order to accommodate anyone who hasn't completed the quest using those items. For a couple of weeks now, we've had the ability to waterbend when Korra became available to unlock. Now with the Elements event, you can find the scrolls for earthbending, firebending, and airbending. Do you have what it takes to wield the might of earth, fire, and air? In case you missed it, with the waterbending scroll, you can give your opponents the cold shoulder by hurling icy projectiles. Also with this technique in your inventory, your health will steadily restore up to 100 while you're in water, plus you swim faster. Find the earthbending scroll to summon chunks of earth to hurl at foes, or use them to create defensive barriers. You better put oven mitts on when you find the firebending scroll, because with this hot ability, you can produce flames to launch arcs of fire towards foes, or slam down from above in a fiery explosion, with a little bit of a kickback. And a fantastic detail with the airbending scroll is that because the monks in Avatar The Last Airbender are passive, which means they typically choose the path of non-violence, so when you find an airbending scroll, you won't be doing direct attacks, but instead you can harness the air around you to enhance your mobility. 
use air wheel to travel great distances, or air jump to launch yourself and nearby players into the air. This is one of the best mobility items we've had in the game, in our opinion. Just a heads up, the elemental bending abilities are not in tournament playlists, but the Olympian items remain in tournaments. Where are you going to find the elemental scrolls? You can find them as ground loot and in chests, but a guaranteed way to locate the scrolls is by going to one of the new temples around the island. Water, earth, fire, and air shrines have appeared across the island. Head inside one and open its bending scroll container to wield that shrine's associated bending technique. You can even find Toph, Zuko, Katara, and Aang around the island as NPCs. Toph can be found in the Earth Temple to the west. Zuko is in the Fire Shrine to the northwest near Rebel's Roost. Katara is in the north between Lavish Lair and Classy Courts. And you can find Aang near Brawler's Battleground. There are other shrines around the island that hold bending scrolls, and some random locations have them as well. There is one more guaranteed location for you to find some elemental mythics. The Rift Island. Did you know that if you capture the Rift Island, it will gift you with various elemental mythics? It's definitely going to be a battle zone up there. Feeling the need to knock over some cabbage carts? Well, you're in luck because there are a ton of them around the map. Here's a look at the spawn locations thanks to Fortnite.gg. By the way, if you need a map to play, or even just go AFK in, we've got our map code in the notes and in the pinned comment. Thanks for checking it out! We started out the event by having Katara's Water Chakra Quests. On Monday, Toph's Earth Chakra Quests will be available. A few days later, the Fire Chakra Quests with Zuko, and then Aang's Airbending Chakra, followed up finally on April 25th with the Light and Sound Chakra Quests. Make sure you have everything done by May 3rd before 2 a.m. Eastern so you can get the Oppa Glider. There are two more downtime updates and at least two more hotfixes left in this season. So if anything changes with the NPCs or the map, we'll be sure and let you know. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button for that information. According to leakers and data miners, there will likely be another Star Wars event this year. This time it could begin just as the Avatar collab has ended. This event would have Rebel Leia Organa, Chewbacca, and possibly other well-known Star Wars characters. May the 4th is widely known as Star Wars Day, and is celebrated around the world. Fortnite is no exception, as we've had various Star Wars collabs around this time in the past. Supposedly, we could see Chewbacca's bowcaster as one of the main weapons, with the possible return of lightsabers and E11 blasters. No word yet if that collab will have an event pass or not, but we should know more when the 29.30 update hits in just over a week. And in random news! It's been a hot minute since we've talked about Donald Mustard. Donald Mustard is the former Chief Creative Officer for Fortnite and has been living a nice retired life. Previously, when he would tweet, it was to tease something about the game, whether in the immediate future or way down the road. Well, recently, he tweeted again, but this time it was about one of his favorite games from the Metroid franchise. In years past, Epic tried to work with Nintendo to bring Samus Aran to Fortnite. So far, that hasn't worked out, but could he be teasing this as a possibility, or is Donald simply talking about a game from the past? We definitely can't wait to find out. And with that, we've come to the close of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use code TUNERSONACOUCH in the item shop, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.